playing behind him. What do you think of the effort he's given you? I, I literally love Justin Berlander. You know, the way he goes out there made me feel like I have to go out there and play the same way he's doing it, you know? And, and you know, he's, I know he's going out there and doing everything he can to win this game. So, you know, everybody in the lineup want to support him, want to score runs for him, because we know the kind of guy he is. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new episode of The Lead. Your host, as always, Harley Dugan. Justin Verlander, that is the topic of the day. And yes, I literally love Justin Verlander, despite what Astro fans say, despite the vitriol and the unwarranted hate for Justin Verlander, because, well, he didn't show up for a single game all season. Okay. <laughs> like he came out on Twitter, I believe it was on Twitter, with uh, his little girl uh, coming up to him, hugging him, really good moment, a feel-good moment. And, uh, and then he kind of just went on about what happened and Roosh kind of, if nobody knows who Roosh is, great follow on Twitter, uh, does Rockets Twitter and uh, really in touch with the Houston Rockets. Hopefully someone I can get on this channel one day, but, you know, asked him a few questions about why he did not show up and Justin Verlander pretty much said it. Hey, I, I can't carry the whole, my whole guys that I'm training with to get my arm back together with me here in Houston. I'm doing my own thing and trying to get back, trying to get healthy and trying to focus on my career. And look, you take that as you wish. You take it with a grain of salt or you could take it with a thousand grains of salt because I couldn't care less. Justin Verlander, go ahead, get healthy, do your thing. If he's available for the Houston Astros, get him. Why not? He's 38 years old, and we just saw reports that he got it back up to 96, 97 miles per hour. He looking like what he was two years ago in 2019, which, let me say, dominant, okay? Yeah, game six of the World Series didn't go your way in 2019, but that's for another conversation we don't want to delve into. Justin Verlander, if available, the Houston Ashers will, should, definitely bring him back. Jim Crane has a good relationship with him. Obviously, they played golf or something. Jim Crane mentioned him at the Shell Houston Open, and they didn't play golf together. But he mentioned Justin Verlander and saying that the door is always open, and he likes Justin Verlander, that he's a really good guy. Look, I'm not saying we're not going to bring back Verlander. I'm also not saying we're going to keep him. But the unwarranted hate, the disgust and vitriol that the Houston Asher fans have thrown towards Justin Verlander, a guy that brought you a World Series in 2017, a guy that almost got you another one in 2019, and is a bona fide ace when he's on. At 38, I am definitely taking a chance on Justin Verlander, who's came out and said that he wants to pitch into his 40s. And if he, again, we saw the report of him throwing 97, if that is true, and obviously the Astros can figure out if that's true or not, why not bring him back, a veteran in the rotation, to help the young guys in Framber and Jose Urquidy, Luis Garcia, hell, even Lance McCullers, help them out with their stuff. It's going to be absolutely necessary. I'm not saying losing Brent Strom is a huge factor for this pitching team. I still love the idea of Josh Miller and Bill Murphy. If Brent Strom recommended them, he did it for a reason. Those guys are going to be very good at their jobs. But bringing in Verlander makes their jobs even more easier, in my opinion. Don't forget he was the guy that hyped that team up got them off their ass and yelled at them out of the clubhouse in 2017, yelling at that Astros team to get them pumped. The game wasn't over. The series wasn't over. And, of course, we turned it around and won it that year. Verlander is absolutely necessary and should be very interesting. The Astros need to re-sign Justin Verlander. I'm telling you right now, go ahead, bring him back two-year deal. Let's get it on. JV back to the H. So that's it for today's video, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell for the notice to turn on. Drop your comments, your reactions 
down below in the comment section. Let me know, what do you think? Y'all think y'all want Justin Verlander back on this Houston Astros team? If you got the vitriol and hate, the unwarrantedness towards Verlander, make sure to drop it in the comment section. I want to hear what you got to say. I am willing to take the risk with Justin Verlander. Definitely taking that risk. The, there is a lot higher reward than there is anything. If it doesn't become nothing, then hey, you know, you wash your hands, you call it a day. But JV back in Houston wearing the Astros colors is something I need to see again. And he knows his career is not over. As always, guys, go Astros, go Rockets, go Texans. You have a blessed day.